Karl Heinrich Marx was born on May 5th, 1818 in Germany. Karl was raised in a Jewish family and was the eldest boy of nine children. Karl attended high school in Trier from 1830 to 1835. He first studied humanities at the University of Bonn, but left to study law and philosophy at the University of Berlin in 1836. He contributed to many controversial papers that focused on social and economic issues. He then became writing for a newspaper and eventually became the editor. Carl and his wife, Jenny von Westplain, moved to Paris after they got married. Together, they had seven children. Carl was known for treating his family very poorly. In Paris, Carl began to integrate with Frederick Engels, who became his lifelong collaborator. Carl became a revolutionary communist and worked to write theories that the Parisian government disagreed with. He was then expelled from France and left for Brussels in 1845. In Brussels, Carl's and Frederick's partnership flourished, and together in 1848, they published the Communist Manifesto. In 1849, Carl and his wife moved to London, where they spent the remainder of their life. It was in London where he published his most important piece of work, Das Kapital. In his final years of life, he was on a creative and physical decline. His wife passed in 1881, and Carl was not long after, dying on March 14, 1883. Although Carl was not a legal theorist, he did express his beliefs about it. Carl first introduced theories on socialism and capitalism. Capitalism, known as survival of the fittest, is an economic model that allows those with money to use it in their best interest without government control or restrictions. Whereas in contrast, socialism is an economic model that is designed to put the social interests of a country ahead of the country's economic interests. Socialism is a way to redistribute the wealth from those who have it to those who don't. Carl believed that class division plays a large role in society. Additionally, Carl believed that the class division will cause the working class to revolt against the upper class. This rebellion will create a new type of government, communism. Communist government believe that making the working class the ruling class, removing ownership of land, implementing graduated income tax, make credit, communication and transport state centralized, combine agriculture and manufacturing industries, and remove distinction between town and country and free education for children. This theory led Karl to write his most famous piece of work, The Communist Manifesto. The Communist Manifesto was Marx's most famous piece of work. It outlined in detail the theories and goals of communism. All property will be redistributed in favor of the working class and societal class will become obsolete. The legal goals outlined in the manifesto are making the working class the ruling class, removing ownership of land, implementing granted income tax, removing inheritance rights, making credit, communication and transport states centralized, combine agriculture and manufacturing industries, remove distinction between town and country and free education for children, Although he believes in equality, he also believes that communism could only be achieved through a violent overthrow of the ruling class. Example, through killing people. This is why so many people die during the communist revolutions in China and Russia.